Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to dive into something super cool that is object detection using Python and Yolo V8. This video is the first in the series where we'll learn how to detect objects in images and video using this amazing tool. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to get started with YOLO V8 on a simple Google Colab notebook which is completely free and beginner friendly. Let's first talk about what is YOLO. YOLO stands for you only look once and it is a type of object detection model. Basically, YOLO can detect objects in images and videos and label them so you'll know exactly where everything is and what it is. YOLO V8 is the latest version of YOLO and super fast and accurate. It can recognize things like people, car, talks, cell phones, books in real time, meaning it can be used in some projects like self-driving cars or security cameras. In this video, we'll be working with a pre-trained YOLO V8 model so you don't have to worry about training it from the scratch. We'll be using it to detect objects in images and videos. So let's get started. Okay, to start, let's first open the Google Colab. If you haven't used it before, it's a free platform where you can run Python code without installing anything on your computer. It's completely on the cloud. So let's open Google Colab. Let's open a new notebook here. The first thing that we have to do is install the Ultralytics library. So whenever you're in Google Colab and you want to run a console command, you have to put an exclamation mark in front of it, like exclamation pip install ultra latex. Let's run this shift enter and let's wait for it to install. This will install YOLO V8 and the required dependencies. It may take a minute to install. So now let's import the necessary libraries. We'll start with YOLO. From well, it takes import YOLO and CV2. So import CV2 and now from Google Google App Patches import CV2. Sure. Now let's run this ship center. Now let's load the YOLO V8 model. We'll use the smallest one right now for faster results. So let's define model is equal to YOLO and in parenthesis YOLO V8 N dot B. Okay, ship printer. Now let's start with detecting objects in an image first. For that we have results is equal to model and let's run it on the sample image that we have imported. So sample.jpg. Now before I run this, let me show you what the image actually is. So this is the image. As you can see, it's a streets view. So let's see what YOLO can do on this. Now let's also save the output. So we have to type results zero because it's a list. Save and let's name it output output image.jpg now let's run this okay so that's how easy it is to detect object using YOLO let's see the output now here we can see that it has labeled the objects car 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 and a stop sign as well now let's try to run this on a video sample so result is equal to model.predict then we have to give a source. So source is equal to sample video dot mp4. And we have save set to true. That's it. Let's run this. Now the process finished. Let's see the output. As you can see, YOLO V8 drew boxes around the objects and labeled them with names and the confidence score. This was just the beginning. In the next video, we'll dive deeper and see how we can train YOLO V8 on custom datasets. Before you leave, I have a small homework for you. You can go to this repository of Ultralytics and explore it a bit. How about you run the same test but on different models like try to do it on YOLO V8X and if you are doing it, then make sure to tag me. I'd love to see it. Thank you. That's it. I'm Ayush. Thank you for watching the video. 